Hi, I'm Barbarine Samuels and welcome back to another episode of Type 2 Makeover where I give you my proactive, patient approach to dealing with Type 2 diabetes. Now I'm assuming, like me, when you were first diagnosed with your condition, your doctor recommended and prescribed metformin as the first line of medication to dealing with your condition. It's a very widely used medication to treat, manage and control um, the condition of type 2 diabetes and it does two specific things. It helps to sensitize our cells to enable the insulin to be used far more effectively and it helps to lower the levels of sugar in the blood. So it's effective around dealing with the symptoms of diabetes but not necessarily the root cause. Now, metformin was first used in the UK around about 1958, in Canada in 1972, and in America in 1995, and as I said, has been used widely across the world. What you may not be aware of is the fact that metformin has a negative impact on our B12 vitamins. Research has indicated that up to 30% of people who have type 2 who take metformin have a deficiency in the B12 vitamin. So B12, it's a micronutrient and it's a very important one because what it does, it helps to regulate our bodies in terms of our blood cells, our nervous system, and also it's a vitamin which is part of the, the B complex vitamins that helps our general health and well-being and happiness. It's also a water soluble vitamin that performs, as I said, these really important functions within our body. And so research is indicating that up to 30% of people are affected by this in particular. So if we take, for example, uh, the National Nutrition and Health uh, Supplementation Survey, and it, it did an examination of 1,600 people, about 1,621 people. And what they did was that they reviewed the blood work of these people and found that 30% of them took metformin and then there was this deficiency within the B12 vitamin. Also, the Pamela Yord Nethersole Eastern Hospital in Hong Kong undertook a very similar research in terms of um, examining people, adults in particular, who have type 2. And there again, type 2 diabetes, they take metformin and there's this 30% deficiency re B12. And this was irrespective of age and weight. And then there's the Jocelyn Diabetes Centre, which is a research affiliate for the Harvard Medical School. They undertook a similar research and had similar findings. But what they found also was the fact that there's this deficiency in B12 doesn't necessarily mean that the remaining amounts of B12 are ineffective. And the only way that you'll know this is if you have the blood test with your doctor. So how do you know if, you are, if you're deficient in B12? Well, you might have tingling sensations in your hands or your feet. You might have dizziness or, or loss of memory or you might be suffering with Alzheimer's. These are some symptoms that could indicate that you actually have an imbalance in, with regards to B12. Also, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan like myself, we, irrespective of whether we have type 2 diabetes or not, need B12 to regulate our bodies. So in my case, for example, I no longer take metformin or any other form of, of medication, but I do need B12 to help to manage my, my overall system. Now, B12 is found ordinarily in animal products. So, you know, the whole range, meat, fish, cheese, dairy, eggs, um, you could receive B12 that way. Also, it's found in some fortified breakfast cereals. Now, I think you need to be mindful of some of these breakfast cereals because they have such a high level of sugar in them that actually by eating them, they exacerbate your system and your condition instead of assisting it. So, um, if you have any of the symptoms that I've indicated or you're a vegetarian or you're vegan and you take metformin, it's advisable for you to be getting into dialogue with your doctor. Have the blood test because you don't want to be in a position where you're continuing to take metformin and it's stripping yourself, stripping your body of this really important vitamin that uh, regulates so much within our bodies. Now, there's this theory that's been bandied about, about the relationship between metformin and B12. And it goes like this in terms of, well, 
Metformin is preventing B12 in terms of moving into the bloodstream and the reason for this is because of this calcium dependent membrane that it needs to pass through and this is limiting or reducing the level of absorption into the body. So that's the theory that's being bandied about but the different pieces of research are showing this 30% of people across the world, which could run into, you know, tens if not hundreds of millions of people, given that there's, you know, over 400 million people who have diabetes and 90% of those have type 2, which they also could be taking metformin. So there you have it for this episode. As always, I want you to stay well. I want you to use your wisdom get into dialogue with your doctor. And the question of the day is, um, were you aware of this relationship between metformin and the B12 vitamin and the potential negative impact it has on your body? Put your answers in the comment box below, or if you've got any other questions and comments, feel free to pop them in the box below, because as always, I love to connect with you. Stay well, and I will see you again on the next episode.